Did you find all of the items you were looking for today? Absolutamente, he said charismatically. Kimberly smiled. Now she knew three words in Spanish. She mentally repeated the word absolutely several times in order to pronounce it correctly. I am glad you had no problem finding what you needed, said Kimberly. Would you like your groceries in paper bags or plastic? Paper, please. The man was also eco-friendly. Did he have any imperfections, the cashier wondered? He definitely believed in eating fruits and vegetables. The conveyor belt was loaded down with them. He didn't seem big on sugar. She saw no sodas or sugary drinks, only water. No meats today, she asked. Only fish. I'm going to cook it for dinner, he confided. This will be my first time. Always my mother prepares the meals. Now I have to do it. I'm going to need luck. I wish you lots of it, she said while scanning several more items. Her hands quickly moved them along as she reached the end of his purchases. Do you cook, he asked. A little, she beamed, thrilled at being asked a question. That must mean no, he concluded with humor and shook his head in feigned sadness. I didn't say that, she said in a high-pitched voice. I know how to fix oxtails and rice, fry plantains, you name it. I just didn't want to brag especially since you practically told me you can't cook. Did I sound that pitiful? Yes, she teased. Maybe one day you can teach me how to prepare. He paused. Oxtails and rice? He finished hesitantly. It sounds good. It is, Kimberly agreed. Was he flirting? She tried to focus on her job instead of his twinkling eyes. Do you have coupons? Yes, he said, handing them over. They were neatly clipped and within the expiration dates. 